Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ants Canada here bringing you another Ant video. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant channel. It's uh, an awesome Monday and as you know now I upload, or you might not know, I upload uh, once every other week and that's every month, every other Monday, first and third Monday um, of every month at 12 noon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be updated. Uh, with all our regular Ants Canada Ant videos. Today is a special video because here in the Philippines, it is um, the beginning of rainy season. It's starting to rain every day. And the alates, the ants, are having their nuptial flights everywhere. Um, generally year round, ants are mating because we don't have winter, but um, they particularly are flying now. Um, and so a couple weeks ago, a special queen came into my possession and she happens to be my dream species. Now this is a species that I've wanted to have for the longest time. I um, mean, it was featured in a good friend of mine, Mark Moffat's uh, book, Adventures Among Ants. And ever since then, I've always wanted to keep them. They are native here to uh, Manila, Philippines. Uh, the species is called Phaedologetum diversus. Someone wrote to me saying, uh, here in Manila that she had caught one so I met up with her and she gave it to me and it's totally awesome she's beautiful and she's huge it was suggested to me that I should put her in some soil so instead of just giving her a small test tube because she is so large I gave her a giant test tube along with some soil in it so she could feel comfortable and actually what I used was peat moss she immediately started to dig so she created this little burrow for herself in the peat moss and got really cozy. I was hoping she would be fertilized and well, here she is. So as you can see here, she is uh, tending to her eggs. So beautiful. Um, so how long is she? Well, her body length is just about three centimeters. She's massive, like under an inch long. Um, so she is the largest ant I've ever seen in real life. Um, and she's just beautiful. Look at those eggs. Just awesome. Um, and this is, it's been now about a week and a half since she's been in this test tube and she's already begun to lay eggs. Uh, you can see her little burrow there. It's very slow moving um, and very motherly as she cares for those eggs. Um, I believe some of the eggs are already small larvae, which is great news. Um, now, I know this species creates massive, massive colonies. Um, they are considered pseudo-army ants. Um, some people like to refer to them as that. Uh, and they just create huge, huge colonies. Now, unlike real army ants where there are um, one queen, this species is actually very polygynous and they can have up to 16 queens in a colony which is great and the other difference that separates these from real army ants is that they um, form full-time homes I thought that these ants were nomadic but no they actually do have uh, you know permanent nests which is great because me I plan on keeping them in a habitat nest in a giant habitat nest which I will be making for them really excited about that now a little bit more about this species apparently in terms of care um, they're very finicky um, they're, they're very sensitive ants um, and a lot of people have um, tried to keep them but uh, have had difficulty keeping them alive and a lot of people have tried to keep the species but even very experienced ant keepers have you know failed to keep the colonies alive um, past just a few months so um, I know this is going to be a challenge for me um, and well I'm from Philippines and these are native so in terms of temperature and um, moisture and humidity I don't have to worry about that I know a lot of people order ants from you know overseas or from ant breeders which is not only illegal, but it's also ecologically dangerous. For those of you who follow our channel, you know that we do not support the shipment of live ants. Um, yeah, that could be a problem, especially if you pay thousands of dollars to get this ant or however hundred dollars it costs to get these ants to you. And it's sad because, well, they die because the, you know, the climate's not right and maybe diet's not right and humidity's not right. It's just, it's all around a bad scene. So my hope for this colony is that they do flourish. I'm going to be providing them a habitat nest, um, a giant one, which I might make for them. 
and uh, connect them to an outworld as well. I'm really kind of nervous about keeping the species because I've seen them in the wild and they form these huge columns. They really do look like army ants um, and they're quite large. Like, I mean, the super majors are quite large. Like, look at this is a preserved um, super major that I have on a keychain. You see there? Of a Fidologetan diversus. See that? See how big that is? She's quite large. Super major right there. Like in comp comparison to my hand. See how big of an ant that is? Now imagine just a big column of ants and uh, several of these. It's really amazing. The, the, the miners are really, really tiny and they even hitch rides on these massive um, super majors, you know, on their heads and on their bodies. It's really kind of neat to watch. For now, I will be housing them here in my condo. Uh, but if they get to a certain size, which they will, if they do well here um, in my place and in the setup I have them in, I probably might move them to a museum. I might offer to create a, another exhibit in a museum here in Manila. Now, this species is probably uh, Fedolo Getten diversus philippinus, which is the subspecies found here in Philippines. And they are voracious eaters, but they also are partially granivorous, and they'll also take fruit and flowers and stuff like that, which is kind of neat. I look forward to feeding them and finding out what they like. So yeah, I'm really excited about this queen, guys. It, I'm going to start a vlogging um, about this colony so that you guys can follow the journey as well. Um, and you know me, I've had many, many colonies. For those of you who've been following my channel already, I've kept so many colonies, of course, all native to wherever I was living at the time. Um, and that's what I love to do. I love creating um, big, big ant colonies, growing them from just a single queen. It's such a great and satisfying experience and very educational too. Um, and just really fascinating. So uh, you can expect more videos on this queen. Um, in terms of my previous ant colony, the giant Solenopsis geminata colony, well, if you guys are asking what happened to that, I've given that away. The colony is no longer here. Um, they've reached a certain size where it was like, okay, this is all I can handle and pass it along now. Uh, so yeah, I'm starting new now, starting with this queen, and I'm pretty excited. And so all of you guys who have been writing in, I know a lot of you are um, deep into anting season, particularly those of you in um, North America, our North American viewers, as well as our European viewers. Um, Australia, I know you guys are in hibernation season. Congratulations on all of you out there who've been catching your queens. I'm reading all of your mail um, and trying to get back to everybody as soon as I can. Um, and it, it looks like a great thing. It looks like a lot of you guys are finding the tutorials helpful. And uh, so, yeah, keep spreading that ant love, guys. Take care of those queens and best of luck. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to comment. Leave me a comment. Okay, bye guys.